There are certain things you can protect within your document from users making changes to unless they have a password. So to get this started, I want to come up to the Developer tab, click on it, and come down here and click on Protect My Document. Now, if you don't have the Developer tab, if you recall in the earlier training videos, if you watched them, if not, well, click on the Office logo, come down here and click on Word Options, and in the popular category over here where it says Show Developer tab, go ahead and make sure you check that, then click OK, and it will come up and pop up here. Click on it, then go ahead and click on Protect Document and go down to Restrict Formatting and Editing and adds a task pane over here. First of all, we've got here is that you can limit formatting to a, a selection of styles, and then you can click on the Settings link and come through here and say, look, they can only format certain things like maybe I don't want them to have an end note reference. So if I uncheck that, they, they can't insert end notes or end notes text. And anyways, it gets really hairy here because there's a lot to choose from. So I'm going to click Cancel and uncheck this and probably the more popular of the two is the editing restrictions. When checked you get a drop down arrow of a few choices. First of all is the track changes. If I select that and I click yes start enforcing type in a password click OK. Any changes that are made, in fact I'll just click OK now and of course that means I can stop the protection right now without adding a password because I didn't add a password when I enforced it. So I'll click on enforce and click OK. And of course, as you see, as I start typing, it keeps track of it. So that way, anybody who makes any changes to it, I caught them red-handed, so to speak. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the protection, and I'm going to get rid of this text, and let's go to the next one. Comments. All that means is they can just click in here, come to the References, come to the Review tab, select something, and then click on New Comment. They can add it. Okay, but I'm going to undo that. And they can't do anything else. So that's for Comments. How about Filling in Forms? I got a training video on forms. You may want to watch that. But basically, when you create a form, you can add check boxes to it, drop down fields. In fact, to give you a sneak preview on the developer tab in the controls, you got your legacy tools to add check boxes and drop down fields. So people can electronically, when they receive your form here, be able to check the boxes so it adds an X in it, be able to click on the drop down fields and it drops it down so they can choose some options from the drop down menu. That's all they can do if you restrict them and say all they can do is fill in the forms. They can't come in here and delete and mess around with the rest of the document. Okay. Um, finally, you've got no changes. Basically, all they can do is read only. And when you enforce that, they can just read it. They can't make any changes. Keep in mind down here that from time to time this will pop up where you can make exceptions like in read only and also I believe in comments where you can make exceptions where certain people can leave more than just comments. They can make additional changes. So you have your exceptions rule down here. So if I come down here, nobody can make changes. All I can do is read it. I can check everyone. And notice, when I check that, whatever I have select in the document, in fact, let me go to the View tab. I want to zoom in on this just a little bit here. And let's make it, well, let me zoom in to 110% and then click OK. You see those little brackets around it? I had that selected. So whatever I select, they're allowed to make changes. So I don't want that to happen. I'm going to go ahead and undo that and just make sure that if, if I don't make any exceptions and I start enforcing, then all they can do after I type in the password is just read it. So they can come in here, try to delete it. I can't do it. I'll hit delete again. You can see down here it says, on the window frame, it gives me the status. It says, hey, look, when you select this, you can delete it. It says the modification is not allowed because the selection is locked. All right, well, I'll stop the protection here. And let's make some exceptions. I can do this one of two ways. I can say, look, everyone can make changes with what I've selected here and you can see there I go I selected it but I'm going to undo that let's say they can make changes to oh just the role setup I'll go ahead and check everyone can make changes here so you can see it's shaded and I say everyone can make changes to the system defaults give me some comments to lead it if they don't like it and check that and it adds the brackets it defines the parts of the document that I selected um, within the brackets and shaded that people can make changes to but they can't make changes to the user setup they can't make changes anything outside of that now if you're working from home and you don't have a server then that's basically about it you can just uh, leave it open to everybody to have access to or basically nobody and if you have access to an exchange server you can actually select more users and type in enter the user's name separate by uh, semicolons. So for example, user one would be the domain backslash the name, or you can type in someone at example.com, their email address. And the only way you can actually use and define users, again, if you have the help of a Microsoft Exchange server, and be able to allow us to list the names of those people. Because if I just type in my name, I don't have a server hooked up to this computer, it doesn't mean a thing. So I'm going to click cancel. So for most of you small businesses who may not have servers, it's just basically you're selecting and saying, hey, everyone can make changes to this okay so in any case when I start enforcing it type in a password and then type it in again to confirm it but if I just click OK 
Um, when I stop enforcing it, I don't need that password again. But in any case, you can see when I save this and email it on to somebody, they come in here, I'll close out of there, this is what they're going to see. And they're going to go, ooh, uh, let's see, I don't like that. I want to type something in here. They make a mess of it. But when they come up here and they try to delete it or type it, they get the same stuff down below. And the task pane comes up and says, hey, look, you don't have uh, permissions to this. The only regions you have access to is, um, and I'll help you out, is go ahead and click on find the next region I can edit. And it selects what they can edit and then go to the next one and see how it highlights it there. They can come to this region. That's pretty cool. And then go to the next one and that's what they can change or show all regions that I can edit and it highlights all of them so if yellow isn't enough to define it then you can also um, refer them to the task pane of course if they close out and they try to come in here and type it make changes they don't understand eventually it'll pull up of course they can always go to the developer tab and say well I think I know the boss's password and they'll come down in here and they'll click on restrict formatting and try to stop the protection now like I said I didn't put a password on here so when I stop it it's not going to prompt me for that password so I stop it it's opened up now. And then of course when you're done and you want to change this around a bit, like you no longer want to give people access to this, just click in the, the highlighted fields and uncheck the box everyone and it removes it. Uncheck, remove, click anywhere in there and uncheck it, removes it. And then be sure to save your work.